Are we here? First point. He provided a place for us. And then he prepared us for the place. Can I talk to you? I'm trying to move on. But I'm not going to be able to move on. I'm going to finish with this one point. This place. He prepared us for the place. Are you preparing your children for the place? Amen. Amen. Right there. Right there. Are you preparing them for how they need to live in your home and live in the world and live in the church? Yes. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on now. Stay right there. Come on. Shabbat. Are you preparing them for they are comfortable living them themselves in their own skin? Come on, right, now. Lord. Go ahead, sir. Or you have them competing with one another, or competing with the neighbor, or competing with somebody in the church, or competing with this, or competing with what they saw on TV. Are you providing them a, a place? Are you, are you preparing them to say, you okay just the way you are? Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Come, right, on, yeah. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. I am preaching good, y'all. If I'm preaching good, somebody please help me say amen. Amen. Love provides a place of comfort yes. where you can prosper, where you can be processed. Why is it that in church we don't allow people to be processed? Why is it that every time somebody goes through something, we want to kill them? Come on. Why is it? Where do we get that from? Why is it that every time we don't understand people, we reject them? Come on, come on, Jesus said, why are you at ought with your brother just because you don't understand them? Come on. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Go ahead, sir. Preach. Come on, Holy Come on, Holy Come on, Holy Spirit. Why is it that your child can't be who they are? Come on. Why do you have to fix some kind of mold that religion gave you for them? I gotta be honest. I gotta go with this thing. Yeah, come on. Cause I see some man going to school with slippers on, oh, oh. and I let her go. Yeah. Now y'all who've been through for a minute, no. 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 That was not what happened in my house. Change, change, change. Hallelujah. Change. Hallelujah. Change, change, change. 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 Change, Most of the time, if folk ain't got no children. Uh, <laughs> you can say, that's not what my child, that's why God ain't give you nothing. Somebody help me over that. Okay, let's, let's, let, let, let me just finish oh, this. I'm just going to finish. See, next week we'll move on and we'll talk about the power, because he gave us the pace, the plan, and the power. But what God wanted me to do, I'm glad I came to church, y'all. What God, what God wants me to do with y'all, thank you, Holy Spirit. And I have been praying, and I thank y'all for praying for me, because church is not making a lot of sense to me right now. It ain't. So, boys, amen. So I got to keep praying, and I got to keep, I, I know you deal with discouragement, too. I know when you wake up, you got to find a good reason to come. Somebody say amen. Y'all don't want to be honest. Let me talk to somebody who's be honest. Somebody who's be honest, say amen. Amen. You know you reason in your bed now. Should I be going here? You're right. Don't worry. We all deal with Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Listen, I told you. Can we just have a good time? I told you. I'm driving here this morning. I expect to see two cars. No, the victim's got one, not three cars. But now I'm the victim's of a lender. That's all I can <laughs> Pretend that I was ran. Well, that's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah, we all have to press. Let's just stop and talk. I'm done preaching. Shut up, asshole. Shut up, high. The only way we're going to see the power of God is through our love life. And we have to break it down. God wants me to break it down one piece at a time. <laughs> but not only break, but apply it to you. Give it to you in revelation so you go home and apply it. Because talking about love, we've seen that for 17 years. We just got to love one another. And the minute you walk out the door, you're cussing somebody out. <laughs> but watch this now. 
How are you providing? I'm just, I'm, I'm a stop at the place. I'll pick up the power and then there's you the plan next, next Sunday. Are you providing a place where your family are in an environment where they are free to prosper. Yes, Lord. Not only your children, your mate, your spouse, your partner. Are you providing a place, Cornetta, in the environment that God has given you, where people are free to be human while they struggle to be divine? My God. Shout out to Oh, While we are working on being Christ, and He's been revealed and He's been formed in us. Are we in an environment? Y'all better hear me talking because I'm preaching good. When God takes me off a message like this, I'm talking to somebody. Is your home environment an environment of love? Are they free to grow and prosper and decide based on what's in them, not what's in you? Come on, so. My Jesus. My Jesus. The thing is, you know, I know stories who Real successful people. This guy was a real successful doctor. I got a story from Miles Monroe. He went out on the lake and, and had a big house. Then his boat on the lake shot himself in the head. Wow. Left a note yes. that he was a doctor because his parents forced him. He was uncomfortable yes, with it. Yes, 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 yes. So And we have these children who are gifted and talented, anointed, but because they can't do geometry, you call them stupid. Come on, sir. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Because the system says, y'all yes. ain't talking back to me. Listen, children need the education. They got to go to school. They got to learn how to read and write. But don't push your child in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a place just because the system says. Come on, sir. Yes, yes. I ain't past trigonometry. When I took algebra in college, I took it in the summer. When it was the only class I took, and I only made a C. I was not good at math. I made A's and B's and everything else. Somebody say amen. amen. Or oh, I'm trying to help somebody. Amen. Just because your child does, it does not master a particular skill does not or make standards. them stupid. Amen. Or standards. Amen. Just because they don't make certain standards that the system put in place. Watch this now. Because there can be something in your child. So if the school making them feel stupid, don't let them come in their love environment to feel stupid. Amen. Or oh, I'm talking to somebody here this morning. Amen. Oh, Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Talking to somebody else. If they're being beat up in the world, Hallelujah. what is the environment when they come home? Are you providing a place for them to prosper and succeed? and work on their human, and be human while they work on their divinity. Mm. As Christ has been revealed in them. I heard Bishop Jake give a story about a parent calling him about a son. They used, they put him in ED, LD, EQD, whatever D you can mind. He said, I told him, be at peace, that means he's anointed. That's right, that's what it means. See, church folk gotta stand up for who we are. When you have a great anointing on your life, you're not going to fit with normal. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. things are hard. That's true. I'm done preaching. I'm done preaching here. That's true. I feel the Holy Ghost. But if you have an anointed child, boy, I'm talking to somebody. I know when, if you have an anointed child and they have issues at school, don't let that be the issues when they come home. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Provide an environment. That's your child. Yes. They only going to be in that class for one year. With that teacher, boy, I'm in somebody business here. Listen, I'm preaching really good here. I've seen the teachers change. I've heard one teacher say she may couldn't read good, and then she passed all the reading tests. I heard another teacher say she can't do math, and then she made A's in math. Those are teachers. Amen. Wow. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I'm trying to stop. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Train up these children right, but don't 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 stupefy them with the system. Amen. Let them grow and be who they are. You know what? I'm going to tell some of your parents something. The frustration of your child is that they're trying to make them somebody not. And you helping them. That's yeah. right. That's true. That's true. You're going to have to cut this tape off right now. Go ahead. The whole world is going to be able to handle what I'm saying. Go ahead. That's why the child might be frustrated. Yes. 
They want to be a car. 